for Here's the flash. Washington, INS. The war is over. We repeat, Washington, the war is over according to INS. There it is, right on the nose. That's great news you've been waiting for. And if there isn't a tear in your eye, there isn't everyone's ear in this newsroom. In New York City, as throughout a rejoicing nation and world, vast throngs of grateful, happy people celebrate the end of fighting, the dawn of peace. Two million New Yorkers jam Times Square. It's official. It's all over. It's total victory. Mrs. Miller. As I sit and write this letter, I realize that there are no words that can do justice or calm the heart. Still, I feel that you deserve to know the circumstances of your son Stephen's death, to know how he gave his life to save mine. <laughs> Stephen and I were attached to each other like no other people could ever be, and I loved him like a brother. It all happened at Iwo Jima. At dusk, we were ordered to advance several hundred yards into the jungle and dig in at the edge of a lagoon. All was quiet until about nine o'clock. Then we could hear the Japs cautiously advancing. And then suddenly, all hell broke loose. The jungle was lit up like a stage and battle cries broke out from both sides. We were outnumbered five to one and were soon hand to hand. After about five minutes, I was hit and fell to the ground. Stephen stood over me and fought like a madman. And when I told him to leave me, all he said was, Go to hell, Shep. Things began to quiet down and reorganization began. Stephen worked over me for about an hour, trying to stop the blood flow, tearing his shirt into strips for bandages. With his assistance, I could walk a bit, and as we made our way down a trail through the jungle, we ran head-on into a Jap patrol. And Stephen, instead of getting away, chose to die fighting to save my life. He dropped me to the ground, and he stood there with a knife in his hand as three Japs charged him with bayonets. He killed the first two, but the third one... The third one stabbed him in the back with a bayonet. He fell and the Jap ran. And then he looked at me and he said, Well, Shep, I guess this is where we came in. And then he smiled. And he started trying to hum his favorite tune. I'm getting tired so I can sleep. And then he just went to sleep. I put my hand on his heart and began to crawl toward the Jap lines. And by some miracle, I reached the hill safely. I can't explain this feeling, to know that I'm alive because Stephen is dead. To know that he stood over me and fought, died, saving my life when he could have run. The weight of his death is over. And I'd give my life a thousand times over to bring him back. We have traveled through the valley of the shadow, walked its pathway side by side. I've watched my friends and brothers fall before my eyes and heard their final cry. All the talk of flags and freedom and the glory and the pride They go fading into black When the fear swells up inside your swollen heart With the weight of heroes on your back Then you realize why you're standing In the back 
battle's rising tide The only reason you're not running from it all Is to fight to save your brother by your side Marched on through the valley of the shadow of the night Here I watched my best friend fall He fought to save my life and lost his in return I'm left to make sense of it all Oh, we talk of freedom ringing And we raise our fists hell high But when you're staring down the barrel at the flash before your eyes 